Ladies and gentlemen, before our featherweight finals, EBI presents to you a special combat jujitsu bantamweight title match. This bout is sanctioned by Camo, the California Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Organization, led by President J.T. Steele. Our lead inspector is Chris Crail, and our mat side physician will be Dr. Kelly Tucker. Referee in charge, Jonathan Romero. First up to the mat, representing Lincoln Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Quick Nick Hodstein. And his opponent, representing 10th Planet Freaks, Ben Eddy. All right, combat jujitsu gold is on the line as CJJ Bantamweight champion Nick this Hansi. This is for the EBI CJJ Bantamweight belt. Nick Hansi, he owns that Bantamweight belt. He won it last March. He takes on Ben oh. Eddy, who had a fantastic CJJ Worlds performance when he stopped Wilson Hayes. Oh, wow. He just walked straight into Ben Eddy's Rubber guard? Strongest position, yeah. Oh, no. Datsusara Hemp Gear for victory. Join the fight at dsgear.com. Datsusara, proud sponsor of the Eddie Bravo Invitational. Again, combat jiu-jitsu. Hanstein allowed to use palm strikes here on the floor. He's going to need to use them if he's going to get through this rubber guard of Ben Eddie. And do it. Ben Eddie looking for that in. guillotine. Not where Nick Hanstein wanted to be. Now, that right hand that he's got up on the foot right now, that, that's just a placeholder hand. It's the left hand coming through that you got to worry about. And there, now it's starting to come through. Hanstein trying to fight that right hand. Yeah, seems a bit savvy knowing that that hand, once those hands grip together, uh, he's, he's going to get his, he's going to start squeezing there. So he has to keep that opened. Hanstein won CJJ gold by beating Chad George, said it was the greatest night of his life. He did that by Twister. He does not want to let go of this Bantamweight title anytime soon. A worthy challenger for it is Ben Eddy. It was unbelievable the way that he stopped Wilson Hayes. He's trying to stop Nick Hanstein here early. Again, Hanstein able to palm strike. Oh, he's still up there and he's still keeping that chin oh, strap. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, that's one way. Well, that's <laughs> tactical. That's that's an interesting. Uh, you know the thing the is, uh, you're not supposed to be able to uh, roll off of a submission. Well, we've seen controversial things here tonight. Why stop now? Everything's legal till the ref tells you it's not. That is Junior true. Brown used to say. Our referee Jonathan Romero in charge of this action. Ben Eddy back on bottom. He's still got double unders. You know, we talk about com combat jiu-jitsu and how it changes everything. Hanstein able to use palm strikes here. You know, the, the CJJ rule set I don't think really dissuades Ben Eddy from doing what he does best, and that's playing a bottom game and, and really wrapping people up. Yeah, I mean, rubber guard is made to control uh, strikes, and, and it's a clinch guard. So essentially, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a one of the best guards you can play in a combat or MMA uh, situation. Half guard here now for Hanstein. Eddie trying to do something with the, the left leg, it looks like, of Hanstein. Maybe sweep attempt here. He's, well, he's keeping that Kimura up for a long time. Well, he's got, yeah. He's Eddie got, has he's to got cover up. Pin. It's gr great position to ground and pound from. Uh, Nick Hanstein's looking to isolate an arm and get a, get a kind of crucifix going on. Which he enjoyed for a second there, got a few strikes off. The last nine or ten months have been big for combat jiu-jitsu. We've answered a lot of questions. 
People wondered if any match would be stopped by strikes. We saw that at CJJ Worlds. Wagner Hosha did it to Nathan Orchard. Neon belly here for the champion, Hanstein. Posters up, lands one palm strike. Trying to secure position again is the champion. Strong top position. Combat Jiu Jitsu does a lot of things that I like to see in combat sports. One is bringing that endurance round back to combat sports with strikes. You used to see it in Pride. You don't necessarily get the exact same sort of uh, approach and game as in Pride Fighting Championships and Combat Jiu Jitsu, but I like, I like fighters having to fight that first initial 10 minute round where they can get hit in the face. Gio's got to try to work back the guard right now. Ben Eddie. Gio, Ben Eddie. <laughs> Gio's coming up a little bit later, but right now, Hanstein's stepping over the head. Referee Jonathan Romero stepping in, trying to reposition these guys. They are very close to the mat, there we the go. edge of it. Oh, yeah, he's got a bit of a triangle going on with the head there. You got the head and arm caught in a triangle. Um, yeah, he can just let loose strikes from there until Ben Eddy uh, gets some sort of control on that arm like that and then and then escapes on top of that because um, once yeah, Nick can free up try that to hand. pop that hand up and not get his arm caught for some sort of um, arm bar attempt. Yeah, like or, a Kimura. Or Kimura, yeah. Both of these guys inverted were Inverted Kimura, I think. There's or an yeah. inverted arm bar right there. Inverted arm bar, yeah. Looks like the, uh, the choice there. Both of these guys were at CJJ Worlds. We mentioned the Hayes stoppage for Ben Eddie. Hanstein was out of that tournament relatively quickly, not the night that he wanted, really the tale of two different performances that night. Ooh. Hanstein, though, right now in business on Ben Eddie. Ben's doing a good thing trying to get his hip leg over the hip. Uh, it can uh, change the angle as he comes up and let him pop out of that. I've already been told. But he lost that. A couple of decent rib kidney strikes from Hanstein. Nice. Eddie able to get free from that triangle grip now. Hanstein still in top position. Comes over the top of the right hand. That uses it to establish side control. Hanstein was attracted to combat jiu-jitsu after his MMA career didn't go the way he wanted it to. really an outlet for a lot of fighters to reapproach their game when mixed martial arts is, a, is either something they don't want to do or doesn't go the way that they thought it would. And for Nick Honstein, he's really attracted to this rule set and thus far has found EBI gold. Ooh. He tries to defend it here. Full guard now, back for Ben Eddy. And you can hear the room come alive. It's just, it's a guard position. It's a closed guard, but everyone knows what Ben Eddy is capable of doing with this position. Yep, he's already one step in. He's got mission control. Actually, he's got a hand on the mat, so he's actually working from New York now. Foot on the hip. Meat hook, Back to the uh, Hindugatine control. Hindu control. There he goes. Picks the leg over. The educated yeah, crowd Triangle. inside Muscle Farm HQ. <laughs> Loving Ben Eddie's work here. Going to town with the pity patty slaps on the top of the head. Right, because, okay. yes. To get the arms out. That's right. <laughs> that, that hip lock can stuff rubber guard. Ben Eddie was playing the barn. And now he reset the arms right back to where he wants them. Yeah. He reset his triangle, rather. Touch over two and a half minutes remain here in regulation. Hanstein now stacks. He did this earlier, but we see Eddie flowering to the leg, preventing that pickup and movement that Hanstein enjoyed earlier. Like, yeah, this is a different, this is a triangle for that arm, arm bar combo, where last time it was just straight up rubber guard for a choke. Ooh, ben Eddie to trying to make it. it work right here. Oh, Slips he out. Hanstein yeah, able to get body free. Triangle. Looks like Hanstein's going to look for a leg entanglement. He's got a look at reverse. Maybe I don't know, like he's got to watch that going. knee bar. Yeah, ben Eddie's aware of it. He's trying to kick out, gets his knee free. He's good. See if Hanstein sticks with it or tries to get top position. 
It's like Hanstein still, still gunning for a leg. This is Benetti's uh, chance to get on top if he would like. All right, we're coming up yeah. on time at the end of regulation. It's normal EBI overtime rules. There's no strikes. Are we sure of that? There were strikes at Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds. Really? There was. You were there. I wasn't commentating. That's true. Back to rubber guard position here. For Ben Eddy. Uh, hands on the mat with a deep New York. He's back on the hand guillotine. Almost had the grips going. Under a minute left here for Ben Eddy to work. He's working a meat hook now. Looking for a triangle. Getting back to his hand Oh, he's got his hand in. If they're together, he's pulling his elbows up. That's where the finish is. You see the grimace, the output, the effort here by Ben Eddy. 40 seconds left to work. When those elbows are Dick squeezing Hanstein's. together, that, that's the choke. Really I, I squeezing. Think it's Hanstein's hanging tough in there, manages to keep his arm in to buy him some space. And now, got an omoplata, yep. Try if he can straighten that arm out to keep it under control and then hit a hazlet, maybe. Hanstein not rolling through either. He knows that an arm bar could be right there if he does. Yeah, it might be a swim move time. Uh, transition to a 15 arm seconds bar. less than goes the clock. Hanstein trying to hold on less than 10. Benetti looking for that Kimura, trying to separate the wrist from the body. The champion Hanstein looks to survive and he mm. does. Overtime for the Combat Jiu Jitsu Bantamweight title here at EBI 15. Referee going to flip a coin. Looks like Hanstein will be given the opportunity to choose. Ben Eddy needs to adjust his uh, mustache there before going to overtime. <laughs> Got to keep the stash, looking fresh. Looks like Eddie's on offense first, and he will take Spiderweb. Top of the first overtime. Same overtime rules apply as regular EBI, except uh, I believe strikes will be legal. Tight grip on that leg. Ben Eddie makes sure to, to commit to that control. Strike. And I have it confirmed, strikes are legal here, but Ben Eddy, he's content with the submission attack here. Hanstein bringing his legs into the mix, trying to push away at the face of Eddie. I like how Ben Eddy uh, kind of opened up his closed legs to keep the weight on it. He turned his knees towards uh, the body instead of towards the uh, ceiling, and that allows him to keep more weight on it. Ooh, arm might be free here. Yeah, definitely. There's no arm grip in it. So up, oh, he gets uh, ass grip back. There was a moment there. And now he's he out. That's the risk of it. Now Hanstein will go on offense. We'll see what he wants to do here. Champion elects to take the back of Ben Eddy. Corner of Eddie saying he just wants to rack up the time. I think Hanstein will do anything he there needs it is. to. He's able to take that two on one off. Right into a twister though. Ben Eddy has got to free his leg out. Nick Hanstein Nick has Hansen. pulled this off before. He captured this belt with a twister. But now he's got actually the twister. Ben Eddy has get out of the twister, but he's into the truck. And now Ben Eddy can continue to try to continue the other way, but he's in between the calf slice truck and the, and the twister. And there he's back on a, on a, on a vaporizer style. And slice. out of position, Hanstein loses the position. Now we see oh, because the, leg locks. the liberation yeah. here. They're going to keep going. I guess they're going to keep going, all right. Eddie's going to keep going, okay. See, it, it, it pays to complain sometimes. <laughs> ben can pivot and still try to get the back. Oh, oh he, he took that. Was, that was, that's the, that's the toes. Eh. That was a reversal there on that. We've been all over the mat here in this overtime. Nick Hanstein oh, that still on offense here on Ben Eddy, top of the second. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure on the knee. Ben Eddy trying to get three, and he does. Wow. That was close. 
Definite wince on Benetti's face in one of those oh, past yeah. attempts. All right, so now Ben Eddy is on offense. It is the bottom of the second overtime. Hanstein threw his mouthpiece. You might want to keep that in. Strikes are legal. <laughs> Ooh. Top of the second. Because Ben Eddy went first. Got it. Top of the second. Switches to arm crusher right off the bat. There it is. Nice. He isolated the arm. Nick does a good job of slipping out the arm crusher, but has to give up the arm and attempt. Oh, that's deep. Yep, he, he got taps. it. The champion taps. And he'll need a miracle to stay the champion. Bottom of the second overtime, Nick Honstein needs to make magic happen. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Can Nick Honstein pull off a miracle, or is that all that remains in his championship reign? Here we go. Ben Eddy trying to get free. All he needs to do is hold on. Nick Honstein forcing the issue. Tick tock goes the clock. Ben Eddy very close to CJJ Gold. And it's official. Ben Eddy is your new combat jujitsu bantamweight champion. What a match. Well, awesome. Unbelievable, Ben Eddy getting it done to make it official and crown our new champion. Here's Bruce Buffer. And we have a winner by way of arm bar in overtime. And now, our new EBI Combat Jiu-Jitsu Bantamweight Champion representing 10th Planet Freaks, Ben Eddy. All right, and just awarded his black belt. That's amazing. So happy to see him get that. Wow. And well deserved that promotion. Congratulations, Ben Eddie. That's amazing. And Danny Prokopos, 10th Planet's first black belt under Eddie Bravo, joining the hugging ceremony. And uh, that's awesome. Speech. Eddie Bravo, Master Vic, putting that nice new shiny belt on Ben Eddie. We just got two new belts. Awesome. All right, I'm here with the winner, Ben Eddy. You are the new combat jiu-jitsu bantamweight champion. There's a rumor going around that freaks don't sleep. You get it done. You follow up a fantastic combat jiu-jitsu world's performance with a victory here tonight. How does it feel to be the new bantamweight champion at EBI? I got my black belt. <laughs> and I got two belts. Two belts. Feels great. Feels good, you know. Uh, it feels good. You know, I mean, I had to win it. I, had to, I ended up having to win in overtime. But um, it was a good match. Great match, though. And it uh, feels good. It feels great. My, these are my, this is my first belt to win. And I get my belt. So it's sick. I mean, it's awesome. It's good. Let's talk about regulation. You were working a variety of submissions. Nick Honstein looked like he was going to go pro wrestling and launch you off the stage. What was going through your mind when you were holding on to there? That was, that was legit. I mean, that was smart. I mean, like... I just go for that because, you know, I can, but realistic, I like the fact that I, I can't realistically go for that. It's not realistic right there. That's fine. Let's restart it. Let's go for something realistic. No problem. I loved how you just ran me off. I, great, it's great we didn't both fall off the mat, but that was fine. That was great. We've seen you stop Wilson Hayes tonight. You get it done against a champion, now former champion, Nick Honstein. What's next for you in this combat jiu-jitsu world? <sighs> What's next? Probably Chad George, right? Let's see Chad George, huh? But uh, anybody, let's, you know, let's start seeing some more MMA guys. It's a good place for MMA guys to get in. Let's see those self-defense jiu-jitsu guys, you know, where they at. Let's see them in here. You know, it's just another platform, just another place for us to hang out. It goes right along with EBI. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nobody knows what's next. Congratulations, sir, on your black belt and CJJ Gold. Let's hear it one more time. The new champion, Ben Eddie.